Do you mind just running us through the, the injury list from what you know so far? I don't know. Okay. Um, Gary? Uh, Gary's up and, and, and talking um, a little bit day, so, you know, he's um, taking his time, trying to come round. He's not in the he's not in the dressing room, he's in the medical room there, so um, we'll see how he, he is the rest of the evening. Um, Caelan Doris, with a double wha double whammy, haven't we? In, in that regard, we, we got the try chalked off for them using a, a fresh ball. I don't know what advantage we get from that, but anyway, we lost Caelan in in the mix of it. Um, so um, hopefully he's going to be okay. Um, Ian Henson's in a cast already um, with his with his wrist. Um, Dan Sheehan, uh, X-ray, okay, on his shoulder, so we're hopeful of him. Ronan, um, he injured his shoulder again, similar to what he did in France last year, etc. No power, etc. So that's shut down. So we'll, we'll wait and see with him. Um, who else? Um, um, who? So That's it. When you say, when you say Caelan, hope you'll be okay, is that the next week? Yeah. Johnny. Andy, just going back to that first potential try that was ruled out, to talk us through that a little bit, Johnny, the, it was a new ball that was used, is that what you were told? Yeah, but we didn't, we didn't use the new ball. Yeah. But I don't, I don't understand that. I said it. I don't. Time. I don't get it. And I, I, yeah. I don't see what advantage we... We you obviously have to new, use a new ball because the ball's just going to end the play. So. Did you ask the ref about being contacted in the air that the foul play would make it a penalty anyway? Uh, we tried well, to. It's irrelevant so. because it's, he brought it back for the new ball. But all the line out was set. Mm -hmm. I don't get it, but anyway. Maybe just have we'll get to understand it. your team again, Andy, to overcome such three, three injuries and nearly in the match. And it, yeah. Does it continue to surprise you the character that the boys are able to show? Uh, surprise me, um, probably not. But um, it was it was immense the character that that would be, you know. Obviously, it wasn't champagne rugby all round. But as far as character and fight and want for each other, that's the best game I've ever been involved in. You know, I mean, if you'd have seen us at half time, you'd have you'd have laughed because all the team was laughing. Because it was organised chaos, we didn't know what was happening until the last second, you know, of whether whether uh, Ronan was coming back on or not, and uh, we we made um, half a plan with with Kian, um, um, going to scrummage, and because he's good at that, and uh, you know that paid off for us. Josh throwing in, he was wow, what 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 can't he do, you know? He took up golf three years ago, and he's. Is uh, in single figures as well in in his handicap. So what can't he do? Like you know. So I just thought, you know, deservedly so for for somebody like Gary on his fiftieth cap that we're able to do a special performance against all that uh, controversy because somebody like Gary Ringrose deserves a um, an occasion like that to look back on. Johnny, with yeah. all that stuff that got against you, all the adversity, the injuries, the freakish nature of it, you kind of. Turned that to your advantage. I'm not saying it helped you, obviously, but did it, did it fuel you? Not really. Well, no, because we were we were well motivated for the game. Um, when you got a coach like Andy and Paulie and guys talking to you all week, you can't but be motivated. Um, and what we want to achieve in this competition, we're highly motivated for. So no, it didn't. But we just had to dig in. And uh, we spoke about it last night. There's going to be times when we have to dig in, and we did. It wasn't perfect by any means. There's plenty of things that we did wrong. Um, but to come here and get a victory is, is massive because they threw everything at us. And in fairness to them, they're a really good side, uh, big, strong, quick, uh, and uh, yeah, they throw the ball around. So it made made life really tough for us. But uh, we grabbed hold of it and uh, good second half performance. John, did you feel you have to get the first goal in the second half? Um, we didn't even speak about that. We were just trying to sort ourselves out at half time, trying to figure out what, what we could play. And um, like we had uh, maybe three or four entries into their 22, and we came away with 
with nothing, which isn't like us. There's a couple of moles I thought were going over that fell over, um, and there was a couple of rooks that were were very slow. Um, that if we if we got a quick ball, we, we probably would have scored next phase. So um, there was also times when we should have taken it to the space, uh, like we saw against Italy, and we didn't we didn't do that. So there are things we need to to get right for next week. Um, so there's some good stuff in the first half, but you know we didn't finish anything off really. Leinster against Northampton. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, it, it's been driven by by Andy since he's come in. You know, we want to be tougher, tougher team, tougher to to sort of go through things like that. Even in New Zealand, when we were we were there and um, we had COVID and camp, we had front rowers going down all over the shop, um, and we managed to put in some performances there. So we, we've we've built it over the last few years and. Um, it's nice for it to come to fruition today, I think. Um, so, look, a very, very special day, but ultimately it's a semi final, um, and the, the big one is next week. It would be uh, stuff of dreams, really. Um, but you grow up doing, wanting to do, I don't, know, I don't know why you grow up wanting to be captain of Ireland. Maybe because the players that you admire most were were captains, but to do it would be yeah, dream dream come true stuff. Yeah. Johnny, you're emotional saying that. What is it that you're thinking of that I suppose brings the tears on? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that emotional. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He definitely was. I wasn't. Uh, no, it's just it's a great group of lads. Like so to lead them is very special. Like um, so, he wouldn't be he wouldn't be proud. Um, you know, even just playing for Ireland to win a Grand Slam would be something. So, look, it's going to be a it's going to be a big week. There'll be plenty of hype. There's going to be lots of distractions, tickets, and family, and, and all that. And we need to um, really just get down to business and uh, get a big performance because these guys are going to be really tough to play against because they're going to be hurting from yesterday. They're going to be wanting to show what playing for England means to them. And you know, they're they're a good team. They're a better team than they. They showed yesterday, so um, it's going to be a, t a really tough game. Nandy, it is such a short turnaround. Obviously, all the injuries as well, so it's a tough task. Yeah, we're on playing tonight, so there'll be not just much celebrating. Um, we'll enjoy each other's company tonight, flying back and then straight back into the Gardner House and um, recover properly tomorrow. Um, a few down days um, to make sure that we get our legs back and we'll have a, a hit out or two and we'll. Get our plan together and, and, and go again. You know, it is what um, uh, dreams are made of. Like like Johnny was saying, to play England at home, uh, to earn the right to take it to the last weekend on Paddy's weekend, it doesn't get any any better than that. So we need to get our, across our work early and make sure that we um, um, in the right space come Tuesday, Wednesday for training. Yeah, you know, well, that's sport, isn't it? Like you, you play for for so long, you, you you play a lot of finals, you win some, you lose some. It's about how you learn from it. But it's a very different group, for example. But we played a final in New Zealand. We played a final last year in, in terms of the last game to try and win a triple crown against Scotland. We we played. We've we've created finals for ourselves. Um, over the last number of years, so um, it'll be no different. We've, we're used to playing in them. Um, you know, performance is key. Like getting out there and playing really good is the biggest challenge because when the pressure comes on. But I think we showed today and throughout the last year that you know we can perform when the pressure comes on. But um, like I said, it's going to be a tough game, um, and we just need to, like Andy just said, we need to get everyone back fresh. You know, we won't train. I don't think too much this week. Um, and, and you know, get the boys back fresh for for Saturday. Yeah, unbelievable. Um, you know, and also you factor in that he hasn't actually played since. When did he's not, yeah, he's not played for a long time. Like for a long, not playing for four months to put in. Robbie's not played all year. You know, Jemison, etc.
me four weeks. Uh, <laughs> and like so, a lot of guys, you know, were probably a bit shocked by the pace of it, and uh, yeah, we're great shift by those lads up front, especially. Record for party, you're thinking? Yeah, uh, Roger will be trying to pay me off to retire now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, look, as I said, I spoke during the week. It's obviously a nice um, thing. Hopefully. Get back on the pitch next week, and uh, like I said, it's all about winning. Like you know, these other things they they can come along, but they're not they're not at the forefront of, of my mind. Jenny, um, apologies, Jordan Asker, Mark Hansen, but you made some some big plays today. How much has he added over the last couple of years? Basically? Yeah, so like you said, some big plays. Even that uh, t t take from the the box kick. Um, I probably should have scored if I'd anticipated it a bit better because I was going in to clean out and next thing he just got his hands free. And uh, like you said, big plays throughout and, and a couple of great finishes for, for his tries. And um, Yeah, he's been he's been breath of fresh air for us. He, he brings something different. Uh, he pops up all over the place and he's, uh, he's a quality, quality player, yeah. Character-wise, he seems quite relaxed, even in most stressful circumstances. Who? Mac. Mac. <laughs> Wow, he, he cramped at one stage, you know, and uh, he forgot all about it. Thank goodness, and uh, he just he just kept finding a way to get himself involved in the game. And that's what he is. He's just a player, like you know. Him and James Laws are, are pretty similar in that regard. He's just a player trying to make things happen. Yeah, he went down with cramp, and and so did Bundy, but they kept finding a way, didn't they? Andy, what happened at Twickenham yesterday? It was almost like preparing for next Saturday a little bit tougher in a way. With with them, them hurting so much. They'll certainly be hurting and um, I mean it's a perfect opportunity isn't it to come and, and spoil the party that, that's the reality so that will be um, a massive motivation f for them is that bigger motivation than than what we're going to experience um, playing at home for a Grand Slam game on Paddy's weekend we'll see It'll mean everything because I, I feel that the group uh, are, are ready for that. But those words mean nothing. It's all about the next five or six days, and we've got to go out there and perform against what's going to be a very motivated England side. So um, one more to go. You know, we need to be at our best, and that's what we expect of each other. Yeah, they came here looking for uh, a Grand Slam. We had, you know, they had, I think they had a championship in the bag. Um, you know, we were at home that time. Um, look, it is. It's it's obviously dangerous because they have nothing to play for. But like Andy said, like it'll mean a hell of a lot to us to to, to play at home and to to try and win something at home. It's you know the, the times that we have won things, they've all been away from home. So you know that was something that we acknowledged from the start that. Um, doesn't come around too often, uh, so it's it'll be a sp hopefully be you know a special day. But we got to go and make it happen. We got to we got to prepare well and we got to have a big performance. Um, we're not going to go out and play badly and win. Like we need to go and play well. Yeah, um, we actually beat them in the Aviva a couple of weeks ago, so it wouldn't be the a true Grand Slam for it's him. It's debatable though whether they're playing better than us at the minute. Either. <laughs> they're pretty they're playing, impressive they're last playing night. Playing well, yeah. Friday night. So um, yeah, they've got some some really impressive players, and he's he's doing a great job. Very very proud of him. Yeah.